Our success is dependent completely on your ability to grow with us and to deliver an exceptional product to satisfy the needs of our customers. The UK, compared to other countries, has what's called a long tail of poor management capability. So if you look at a distribution of management capability across countries, the UK is pretty similar at the top end, so it has some really good world-leading world -leading businesses. There's lots of good businesses in the middle, but what really holds us back as a country compared to others is that long tail of poorly performing or poorly managed businesses at the bottom end. We managed to identify a unique opportunity to access some funding from the UK Commission for Employment and Skills. Uh, and this would enable us to develop this programme uh, to increase leadership and management skills across our supply chain. Firms that share experience, share best practice, are more profitable, they're more likely to survive, they're more efficient, they grow faster and live longer. So those are the real benefits that you stand to gain. Although we've been successful in securing part funding for this programme, Woodheads are contributing a significant amount of investment in ensuring that the Good to Gold programme is a success. And we want to work closely with you, our supply chain, to help develop this programme to benefit your businesses and ultimately develop a world-class supply chain that makes building a better experience for all. Now in the past, government has probably stood on the sidelines and says, OK, we control the budget for employment and skills in this country and we know what's best and we're going to do what's best. And employees are going to fall into line. And it's, that's a you know, kind of brief summary of it. But essentially what's happening now is that government is now recognising that employers are best placed to solve their own workforce development challenges or problems. So it's giving us um, the opportunity to work with employers to put some of those solutions into practice and help you do that. And it's about public and private contributions. So the Commission is making a, a contribution to the project. Woodheads, as the employer, are also making a contribution to the project. And to some extent, if you, if you decide to commit and get involved, then you will commit a little bit of time. But Woodheads have invested on your behalf to provide you with, with training. Why would us doing this? Well, we value our supply chain immensely and we feel that the Good to Gold programme is a pathway through which we can offer you support in managing your business and people and help cope with the demands of running a growing business and ready to create a world-class supply chain to help make building a better experience for all. And what do you have to put into this? Well, it's approximately five days of your time between now and the end of June 2015. <coughs> and what will you get out of this? Once again, Terry touched on this at the start, but really what what we see this doing is, is giving you the tools to become more efficient, ideally increase profitability and create a more productive workforce. So that's basically what the competition is about. Woodhead has put in a really strong proposal um, and we're really pleased to see it. It, it jumped out the page at us. Um, I assessed the proposals and it really, the commitment, the enthusiasm and the ambition that they, they demonstrated was fantastic. And it was, as uh, Matt said, it was, a, it was a national competition, it's UK wide. And there were some other really large nationwide household names in there from the construction sector. So they've done really well um, to come through this competition. So um, we're excited about the proposal. Our commissioners are really keen on it because it's a medium sized business or business um, showing the sector how it's done essentially and leading the way. So we're really, really, really excited about it. Hope you are too. And um, I'm, I'd really like to commit to the programme. So thank you very much.